Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Makers deck from Dan and Dave. All right, so what's the theme behind the Makers deck? Uh, Dan and Dave, their ad copy, says that the Makers deck is a meeting point between art and functionality. Uh, the result is nothing short of breathtaking. I think out of the box, you'll see uh, both images of conjurers and collectors alike, and you'll enjoy 14 custom illustrated court cards representing the foundational makers of our civilization that we have kind of built our uh, nation on. So to us, you know, these are the individuals that we think are the pillars of unparalleled craftsmanship, something that we hold in the highest regard. So the Maker's Deck is both a tribute and a celebration of these men and women. Each tuck case has been embossed and stamped with layers of gold foil. Uh, and you can see that just wrapped all the way around. It's a matte green tuck case and you have this gold uh, foil ink all the way around. It does say makers across the front and special reserve. It says reserved quality for all beholders, made true, forged in the USA by the Buck Brothers and Company. One side of the tuck case says designed by the studio of Chad Michael. The other side says produced by Dan and Dave Industries. The bottom has some ad copy about Dan and Dave. The back design of the tuck case is also the back design of the cards. And you also do get a custom tuck seal, which is a complete uh, wrap around. So it's kind of a throwback to vintage tuck seals. The top of the tuck case also says Dan and Dave Industries. The tongue flap says by the Buck Twins. So they really want you to know this is a Dan and Dave deck. Um, inside you have uh, ornamentation on the two little flaps, and then you have ornamentation on the inside of the tuck as well. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on a thin retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Now, a lot of people will always ask me how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, the best thing I can do is tell you how thick they are. What I do is I put them in a caliper and I measure them scientifically so that you can compare them against other decks maybe you own or that you've previously held. Uh, 10 cards in the caliper comes to 2.69. 2.69 is incredibly thin. These are incredibly thin cards. Uh, this is only an example of how USPCC is moving towards a thinner stock, both for retail and casino. So I think this year and going forward, you're gonna see a lot of smaller measurements. So right now, I don't even have decks uh, that really register this thin. So these are really uh, thin cards. The back design, very similar to the back of the tuck case and uh, still done in that golden green. You have a nice thin uh, frame around making a border. And uh, the inside, I don't know, I don't wanna say it's muddled, uh, but it just doesn't stand out as well as I would like it probably. I think there's a lot of detail in there and I would certainly, uh, like to see it, but either they could have made it either pop with making the green a little bit darker or maybe adding a different color in there. Uh, it, it does say Order of the Makers on there and it says uh, World's Tribute, you know, and you have the spade on the top and the bottom and that center circle uh, and a, a lot of concentric and you know, like outgoing frames around it. But again, it's not clear, you know, the, the design doesn't pop as well maybe as I would have liked uh, unless you get right up on top of it. So not only is the outside of the tuck case adorned uh, to let you know that Dan and Dave made this tech, on the inside your two extra cards are also ad cards to tell you about Dan and Dave and Art of Play. Uh, I don't know, just from a magic uh, printer, and both Dan and Dave are magicians, I just would have thought they would have given you cards uh, that might be helpful for magic, but you get two ad cards. They make great bookmarks and books. Also with this deck, you get two original jokers. Uh, one's completely black and the other is that muted gold color. Uh, again, I don't think the gold color pops as well. Some of the detail I think is lost on there, but it appears to be a gentleman with a throne and kind of really spooky eyes. And then across the top, it says death makes all things equal. Your ace of spades is very large and very exploded. It has that same kind of graphic detail that you see from the back of the cards. It appears to be a gentleman's head in the center or down there at the bottom of the spade pip. And then underneath that spade pip, it says the wanderer, truth in spades. Each one of your pips and indice cards is completely original and has been redrawn. Uh, the font in the corner is kind of elongated, has kind of an art deco feel. And then the pips themselves are all done through line drawing. And uh, the black suits are kind of a washed out gray uh, and the red suits aren't really as sharp either. It's kind of a muted red. 
Your court cards are all original as well. They're all front facing courts. And again, they're done in that gold um, muted color. And again, I don't feel they pop very well off the card. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. Uh, but again, they're all original. They have lots of uh, detailing in there. I think they're very uh, attractive, very beautiful looking. I don't know, they, you know, Dan and Dave said that they're all uh, makers of our nation's civilization. I don't know, maybe they could have used one of the ad cards to like give us an indicator of who all these uh, men and women are. That would have been cool to have. All right, so that is my review of the Makers deck from Dan and Dave and the United States Playing Card Company. I purchased mine from dananddave.com, and if you would like to purchase yours, I would head there as well. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.